Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface back on the PTR server for patch 5.2 with a brand new Windwalker Monk ability called Storm, Earth and Fire. Now if you like you can pause the video and read the tooltip, but personally I'm just going to throw us straight into the heart of the action. It's castable up to 40 yards away, it costs a meagre 10 energy and what it does is it splits the monk into an elemental image of itself, in fact you can do it up to two times. Now the blue one represents Storm. You yourself have been transformed into a green elemental image representative of Earth and the red one therefore must represent fire. You can however only cast one elemental image on any one target. So if you want to have both of them in combat fighting for you, you must have pulled at least two mobs. There's also a trade-off on the damage, but it does work in the monk's favour. When you cast one elemental image into combat, you will each do 60% of the monk's original damage. So that's a grand total of 120%, a 20% increase. Should you cast a second elemental image into combat, you will each do 40% of the original monk's damage, again totaling 120%, which is still... A 20% increase. Should one of your targets die, the elemental image that was attached to it will merely disappear. So as long as you have one active, you will always do 20% extra. Now there is also a pretty funky bug on the servers at the moment, where sometimes when you cast Storm Earth on Fire on a mob, it can actually turn into a mirror image of yourself, which will engage in combat. Quite freaky but pretty funky. If you do it on a neutral mob, then you can either just let it stand there or jump in and attack. But monks, let me know what you think. Personally, I don't know how you can not like this. It looks absolutely sensational, and it's also a DPS increase. And in this instance, I pulled three mobs. So once we've all ganged up and killed one of them, all I have to do is target the one that doesn't have the elemental image attached to it, and recast it into the fight because there is simply no cooldown on this ability. Always keep that 20% damage increase up at all times. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and also like my Facebook. I shall be back with some more Patch 5.2 stuff very soon. Take care everybody. Bye bye.